Hi, welcome to Ms. Cooper's art class. Today I'm showing you a tutorial on how to do the wild orchid brush painting stroke from Japanese sumi-e painting. Now I have the sumi brush ready. I have my paper and I have my ink. In a previous video I show how to do the bamboo stroke where you make a leaf by using light pressure and then a lot of pressure with your brush and then light again as you hold it vertically. What you're doing now is you are stringing those end to end. So go really light with the tip of your brush Smoosh your brush, use some more pressure, and then lighten it up again. Maybe practice a couple straight lines, see how that goes. And then to make wild orchid leaves, you are actually kind of taking it and bending it. So now you have this curved line made of dashed, kind of twisted leaf portions. And so then, all you do to make it look more like a plant is you add more of them so it has plenty of leaves. You'll notice I'm holding my brush vertically and working nice and slowly because this is a peaceful painting. We're not smashing our brush. We're not blending a bunch of colors together. We are just focusing on the brush strokes. That's what brush painting is all about. So again, light pressure, more pressure, light pressure, more pressure until we have our twisted leaves linked together. To make it look a little more like it's 3D in space, I added a little more ink or a little less ink to some leaves to make some look like they might be in the background and some look a little bit closer to us. I felt my leaves were getting a little too regular, so I added some to the other side and instead of three twists, I just had two instead, just to vary it up a little bit and make it look a little bit more natural. So what I'm going to show you here is my actual plant. I'm looking at one here and you can see how the leaves curve and how those brush strokes can show how it gets thinner and thicker. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how I would add the orchid flower with the petals. Very similar idea. Think about the pressure in your brush. Use a lot. Make the top of the petal thick and then lighten up your pressure and make a short little tail kind of like little commas that you're making with your brush. When you arrange them all next to each other, it starts to develop a flower shape. Remember, brush painting is very loose, it's very expressive. We're not trying to make realistic flowers like a photo. We're just getting this idea of a flower and what it might have looked like for a moment in time. So again, I'm doing my kind of comma strokes, I might call them, or my wild orchid blossom strokes, where they're thicker at first, and then you lighten up your pressure and thin it out. You can always, of course, add details with a little bit of darker ink and add little outlines if you want. Um, I'm also adding a stem and I'm doing it very quickly and expressively like maybe my flower is blowing in the wind. So once you have these parts ready and practiced, you can add them together. So I'm practicing my thick and thin twisted leaves. I'll make this kind of a, an old orchid. Maybe it's been rained on a lot so its leaves are drooping a little bit more. I'm trying not to be too regular with them. It's not a perfect plant. I added one extra little young leaf at the top. Then I'm using my comma strokes, but I'm making them a little bit smaller to make my wild orchid blossom. Adding a few details and then a stem, and now I have an orchid blossom plant just like that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like if this was helpful or subscribe for more. Thank you.